All right, everybody, all right. This is Zane from Really Easy AI. I've got my youngling beer, and I am ready to teach you about using Zoom AI Companion in meetings. So here we go, part two. Uh, remember, part one was just getting everything set up. Part two now, or turning it on. Now, part two, we're going to deal with meetings, and then we're going to keep going from there into all the different aspects of Zoom. So, uh, of course, we're going to have a nice uh, uh, quote for Zoom. Uh, here's an anonymous quote. I mute myself on Zoom calls so I can yell at my family without anyone knowing. Yes, that absolutely has happened to me numerous times uh, when I'm doing it. And I will often mute myself so I can... And then I'll cover my mouth so they can't see me yelling. I'll be like, what the hell is going on? I'm sure plenty of people have done that. All right, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you would, please. I really appreciate that you're here viewing the video. Thank you so much. But you have no idea how much it helps to just do something as simple as liking it. it. The YouTube algorithm will get it out there so other people can see it and take advantage of the content. I really would appreciate it. Any interaction beyond viewing automatically boosts the content like you would not believe. So uh, thank you so much. And if you really like the content, you can become a member. We have three, level, uh, uh, three levels of membership. Artificial Narrow Intelligence, Level 1. Get some loyalty badges, some emojis, and discounted merchandise once I get off my butt and connect the store up. I have the store. I just haven't connected it up yet. Uh, AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, Level 2. Lots of good things, but mostly people join it for the early access to my videos so they can get a hold of my videos when I queue them up rather than having to wait for them to come out. And then Artificial Super Intelligence, where you get exclusive member-only videos, direct access to me through chat rooms, and so on and so forth. So, good stuff. To join or become a member, just click the join button next to uh, the subscribe, and uh, we'd love to have you. All right, let's jump into this. So, we're going to be talking about using the AI Companion meeting features, specifically the features in meetings. And uh, in order to do that, the first thing I want to point out is that what I've done here, even though in the last video I went to admin, account settings, and turned everything on, I've actually gone through then and now and turned it all off. Now, why did I do that? Because I want you to know how to turn it on on your side. Most admins will probably have it off but unlocked. You see here it's unlocked. So they'll have it off but unlocked. Now, if they turn it on for you, even better, great. You don't have to expend any brain cells figuring it out. I can't make that assumption, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that the admin has it off but unlocked so that you can set it in your personal settings. Now, let's get to that. To set it in your personal settings, what you need to do is you need to, um, you know, and you may not even have access to the admin part, you need to go into your personal settings so personal, you see here it says personal, go down to settings. Then we head on over to AI companion. And now you can see it's off, but before where it said locked by admin, it is now unlocked. There's no message of that kind. So now you can turn on all the great features you wanna take advantage of. Now let me, let me show you something real quick. I've got a meeting set up and I wanna show you something so you understand what's going on here. So let me head on over to my meetings real fast. And so I've got this meeting right here. I'm going to start it. And that's fine. Open my Zoom meetings. Start in a different screen. But I want you to see this because I want you to understand that when you, uh, if you don't have anything turned on, I have to resize this window, aren't I? There we go. When you don't have anything turned on, none of the features, you're probably going to wonder what the heck's going on. If you can look at this screen, you can see that there's lots of good stuff here. All the stuff you'd normally expect, chat, share, screen, record, yada, yada, yada. Um, if I click on more, there's captions and polls, but there's no AI stuff. This is what it looks like when you don't have it turned on. You will not see the AI option. A lot of people get freaked out about it. They're like, where is it? I, I know I'm supposed to have it. Well, you may have it, air quotes, but you may not have turned it on in your personal settings. So understand the difference, right? If you do not see the AI companion button, that means it has not been turned on. Um, either your admin hasn't turned it on for you or you haven't turned it on yourself. Either way, it's just not there. So how do you turn it on? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the meeting real quick. Uh, so to turn it on, and we'll come back into the meeting here in a second. We go into our settings and then we go to AI Companion and now we can turn things on. Meeting summary with AI Companion, you bet. 
Uh, what do we want to do? Do we automatically want to start the meeting summary for all meetings I host? No, I think we'll do it manually so you can see what it looks like, although it is nice to have it automatic. I certainly would recommend it if you're going to use it. Send an email notification when sharing with users and include a summary text. Yeah, we like summary text. Share summary with who? Just you, yourself, and anybody else in your org or all meeting invitees. I'll go ahead and say all meeting invitees in this case. So now that is on. So the meeting summary AI companion is turned on. Um, or at least it's available, right? We'll see that in a minute. So I'm gonna click on save and that's done. Now, auto delete meeting summaries. Yes, uh, that's locked by admin apparently. Oh, you, you know what, we set that up. So it's, I think it's 45 days, so we're fine there. Meeting questions with AI companion. Absolutely, we want that. Um, automatically start meeting questions for all meetings I host. No, uh, who can ask meeting questions? All participants. We're going to let anybody ask meeting questions and save that. And we're going to see all these in action. And then smart recording. By enabling this, your cloud recording can have recording highlights, summary, and smart chapters, next steps, and even a meeting coach. Yep, we're going to turn that on as well. Uh, create, Enable create audio transcript. So you need to enable audio transcript in recordings first. So we're going to enable that right here. Click on turn on. And now we have that. Now, what do we want from each recording? Recording highlights, smart chapters, next steps, and meeting coach. I'm going to save that. And that's it. Then it goes on to whiteboard. So there you go. We've turned it all on, uh, except for auto-delete, which we had set by the admin. So uh, other than that, we're good to go. Now, it's on, but not active in the meeting. We're going to see that in a second. So now let's go to our meetings. And uh, we'll go ahead and go to this meeting again. Open Zoom meetings. It's going to pop up on my other screen for some reason. So I'm going to plop it in here for you. i got to resize the window again. Hang on. Let me get it sorted out for you guys. Okay. All right. So now that we've got this, notice down at the bottom here, there's a new... Here, let me... That's going to annoy me. Hang on. There we go. Notice down at the bottom, there's now a new AI companion button and a new start summary button. So you've got a couple of neat buttons here. If we go to more, notice there's um, uh, just chat, record on this computer, record in the cloud, smart recording with AI companion enabled. Do you see that here? So when you go to record, it's going to tell you there's smart recording with AI companion enabled. So we're gonna do all of that. Let's go ahead and start with the recording. So we're gonna start the recording. Recording, um, recording in progress. Uh, well, not in, you're muted, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll unmute, my, I'll unmute someone else. I'll continue without audio for now. And then we've got that going and smart recording is happening. So it's being recorded as we speak. Very cool. Now we can also do the start summary. Meeting summary with AI companion is on. Meeting summary uses AI technology, which may include third-party blah. We'll send the meeting summary to invitees after the meeting ends. Got it. Now, you could stop the summary if you wanted to. But, it, you, again, by clicking on the button again, it stops the summary. But we want the summary. And then last but not least is AI companion. And here it says, welcome to the AI companion. After starting AI companion, you can ask questions about what was discussed based on a temporary transcript of the meeting. Who can ask questions? All participant. We click on start. Meeting questions is on. Everybody gets these announcements, by the way, that you're seeing like this. Everybody gets these. Meeting questions is on. Uh, may include third party blah. Zoom does not use any blah, blah, blah. Uh, AI generated content may be inaccurate. Got it. Okay. Now everything's lit up at this point. Now you can't see my meeting questions. So let me. There we go. Okay. Now you see what it looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to simulate a conversation, a little bit of a meeting, and let you see kind of how, how it all plays out. So I'm going to, uh, let's see here. Ooh, I messed up a little bit. Um, no, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and unmute the, the I'm, I'm actually going to join the meeting through uh, my phone and pretend to be a participant, an extra participant. Uh, so it uh, looks like I am, it's going to let me in the meeting and I admit. So I had to admit myself. There we go. It says I'm connecting to audio. Recording in progress. Let's me know it's recording. Great. Great. 
and I'm going to start talking. So I'm so talking, I'm talking now, now, and I'm and saying, I'm hey, saying, hey, everybody, everybody how's, how's it going? going? What's going on? And then as we're doing this, one of the things that we can we see all kinds of stuff here, you know, the reactions, the various notes, yada, 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 all that stuff still in play. And so we can see the AI campaign is doing stuff here, and now we're talking. And let's, and talk, let's about talk about the meeting that we need, that to, we need have to have next week. week. Uh, one, uh, one of the one things, things that, that uh, we, need we need to discuss, to discuss is how we're going to do, gonna more, do slides. more slides. And then, and of then course, uh, another, another big deal is we've got to figure out how we're going to make more money, money on, YouTube. on YouTube. So, so that's going to be huge uh, going forward. Let's go ahead and talk about that as well as let's address some of the top line issues of figuring out what the hell we're going to teach in the next session. Now, if we if look we at the look economics, at the economics of, it, of it, this is this pretty, is cool, pretty stuff. cool stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mute out, mute out real, real quick. And so let's say you haven't been paying attention. You can say, catch me up. And catch me up. In the meeting so far, Zane, this guy over here, has been discussing varying topics, various topics, including reactions, notes, and activities of the AI Companion. He also mentioned a future meeting where they plan to discuss more slides. So he did an issue about making more money on YouTube. He also ended up addressing some top line issues. See, that's how it works. Pretty sick, huh? That's kind of cool. So you can definitely get some, uh, you can definitely get some uh, good stuff going on there. All right. Now, uh, notice the ellipsis here. Was my name mentioned? Uh, are there action items? What topics are discussed? Let's ask, are there action items? And... Let's see if it came up with some action items. Sure enough, based on the context, here are the action items. Discuss more about the AI companions. Plan for the meeting schedule for next week. Address top line issues and decide what will be taught in the next session. And analyze the economics of the current situation. So you can see it's actually doing some very, very cool stuff uh, already based on the transcript it's getting from the meeting, the temporary transcript. Now, in addition to going with the prefab questions here, you can click in here and ask anything that you want to ask. And notice it says no other participants can see this. So you're interacting with your version of the AI companion. No one else can see what you're typing. So you can say, um, uh, was money brought up? And the AI companion will go through and say, yep, money was brought up by Zane. He mentioned you need to figure out how to make more money on YouTube. See there? So you can, you can do the prefab questions or you can do like catch me up and was my name mentioned, what are the main action items, what topics were discussed, or you can type in and ask any questions you want. This is seriously cool stuff. I love this feature. All right, let's, uh, so that was the first item that I wanted to show you. Let me make sure I get my slides up. I'm missing my, this is on my slides here. All right. Okay. So, um, so here's an overview of the things that we're looking at. The first thing we just looked at was AI companion questions. Um, and that's in play right now. The next thing was the smart recording, which happens after the fact. Um, so after the meeting's over and we stop it, it's going to, it's doing smart recording. It's going to send out all this information. And then meeting summary, which generates a summary and next steps of what was discussed in our meetings and shared through email and team chat. So all that's in play and we've turned all of that on. So now let's go back to our meeting. But AI companion questions is hands down the best part of the experience. All right, so at this point, um, the summary's happening. The rest of it really happens once the meeting is essentially done. It happens with the recording when we're done and it happens when the meeting is done and it does a summary. So we're gonna go ahead and, and end the meeting now. I'm gonna end it for all. So we're done with the meeting. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it, get back in and show you the various summaries and things that it made for us. Okay, so we are done. Uh, let me take you through what's going on. So notice there's no meeting here. Now you're gonna notice when you have AI Companion turned on, that there's a new uh, item here called AI Companion. And if you click on that, it's actually gonna show you your meetings, the name of your meeting, the ID, the host, all that good stuff. Now be careful, because if you come here right after your meeting's done, you're gonna see this, you'll even see the link, you'll try to click on it and you'll get a stop sign, it won't let you click. It does take about a minute or two and sometimes longer depending on how long your meeting is before it generates all the stuff it needs to generate. 
So just be patient. If you can't click on it, but you can see it, that means it's generating and will be done eventually. Will be done soon. Just be patient. It takes a few minutes. Once it's done, then you can then click on the link and it will have your meeting summary. By the way, uh, this just happened. Meeting summary with AI Companion now supports additional languages. So you can learn more about that. I'm going to do everything in English for our purposes. But yes, you can actually do meeting summaries in additional languages as well. So here you see meeting summary for my meeting. Gives the date, gives the time, gives the ID. Quick recap. Zane highlighted the ongoing activities, particularly role of AI Companions. Next steps. Zane will prepare for the next meeting. Zane will address top line issues. Summary. AI Companions and revenue strategies. Blah, blah, blah. So you see there, very cool. It does a quick recap. It does next steps or action items that it thinks need to be addressed. And then a summary. Now, at this point, I can edit that, add to it if I need to. I can add to that text, whatever I want to add to. Maybe I need to add an extra item um, and make more money. And then I'll save that. And so you can add to that. You can delete it if you want to blow it away, or more importantly, if you're happy with it and you've edited it, you can share it. So you can pick who you want to share it with and just type in a various email addresses, click on share, and they'll get a copy of it. So this is a very, very, very cool feature. I like it a whole lot. Hopefully you like it too. Now, let's go ahead, uh, let's see here. Let me get my slides. I have my slides. There we go. Okay. So we did the meeting summary. So this is what the meeting summary looks like. Um, we just saw the meeting summary. It also emails the meeting summary as well if you, if you have it do that. So you will get this through email as well. Let me uh, check my email, see if I got it. Um, let's see. Yep, I did get it right here. Meeting summary with AI Companion. Yep, there it is. Let me show it to you guys real quick. So here's what it looks like. I just got it. I, I got it in my email. I'm going to make it so you guys can see it let me just resize that sucker there you go so here you go uh, same thing meeting summary of my meeting quick recap next steps now if you have it automatically send out you don't have a chance to edit it you have to edit it and send out a new copy so that's why you may just want to do the meeting summary to you first and then you share it out instead of automatically having everyone get the summary right away that's one of the big compelling reasons to uh to not send the meeting summary out right away, to give you a chance to go to the meeting summary area, edit it, tweak it the way you want, and then send it out. It's completely up to you, but just be aware that's that's what's going on here. It looks like it's got some pictures and wants to download. There you go, nice and pretty. And it talks about additional languages as well. So very neat stuff. So that was the first thing we talked about. Um, we, we did the AI companion, which is totally just insanely good. And uh, now, last but not least, is smart recording. So smart recordings are there. We're going to take a look at those in just a second. All right, boys and girls. We're at about 20 minutes, and I'm trying to keep these kind of short. So I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and stop here. And then when we come back um, in the next part, part three, I'm going to take you through all the smart recording stuff. I think that's the best plan so that we can get into it and kind of see how all that plays out. So uh, we'll stop here and then we'll continue with part three, smart recording and see what that's all about. This is Zane, I'll see you next time.